Well, hi everybody and welcome to this edition of Moodle Support Theater. We're continuing to examine some of the features that you will find in the activity drop-down in the new Moodle. Let's go to the 16-week setup, turn editing on, and keeping things simple, let's stay at the first available week under the News Forum. We're going to use the activity drop-down and we're going to select Choice. With choice, you can schedule events, presentations, and in the example, we're going to use a field trip. So let's, where it says choice name at the top, type in field trip. I'm going to copy and paste my text, and you'll notice I give the dates, some of the requirements, and uh, general information regarding the activity. Now, I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. Limit the number of responses allowed. If you don't want to, uh, fine and just get general information and class input but in this case or in the case of a presentation I want to limit the number to 14 so I'm going to choose enable my first choice is going to be Thursday at 4 p.m. so I'm going to type that in and where it says limit I'm going to put in 14 choice 2 will be Friday at 4 p.m. and that's going to be 14 and you got it Choice 3 will be Saturday at 4 p.m. 14 will be my limit. I'm going to scroll down. Notice at the bottom of the choices, if you have a lot of extra fields, you can continue to add three fields at a time up to the system limit. I'm going to restrict the answering to the time period. You may have noticed that I gave a deadline of the 17th. So from today, when the video is being created, I picked a fictitious date of November 17th and my class is at 4 p.m. So I've chosen 1600. I like to display horizontally. You can also display vertically, a personal choice. For this example, I do want the students to see the results. Always show the results to students. But notice you do have some other features only after the choice is closed and only after they answered. For a field trip, I want everybody to have lots of information. And because we want to know if our BFF is going to be on the same ship as we are, we want to publish the full results showing names and choices. Do we want the choice to be updated? I have found in field trips there's always a lot of, oh, I want to be on the same boat as so-and-so, so allow it. Uh, if you don't want to allow it or it's not uh, practical in your class schedule, no is always an acceptable answer. And do you want a column for unanswered? That's entirely up to you. Bottom is common Moodle settings. There are no groups involved with this. We do want it to show, and we wouldn't even think of putting in an ID number. So let's give it a click. We go back to our main page, and there we see Field Trip up at the top. Let's select Field Trip, and we notice here are our choices. At the top, I can pick Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, and it shows us underneath what has been selected. I'm going to say I want to go Friday at 4 p.m. I'm going to say Save My Choice, and the person who has selected appears in the box. Notice you can come up to the upper right-hand corner of the screen and view your responses. Give it a click, and it shows who chose Friday at 4 p.m. And underneath, you can download this in a text and an Excel format. I generally suggest the Excel format. The text can be uh, a little bit hard to read. Okay, let's use our breadcrumbs and go back to the front page. Select it. Once again, it says field trip. And do you remember? Oh my goodness, I want to go on a different trip. So I'm going to be able to change my choice. Select choices again, select our field trip, and here we are back, and now under the time Friday at 4 p.m., save my choice, it now says remove my choice. Okay, I'm going to change my mind. My good friend uh, is going to go Saturday at 4 o'clock. I select Saturday, save my choice, and the choice is again registered. The nice thing about this, and this is the most important point of the video, if you don't get anything else, please remember this. It used to be if I was the 15th person in the old version of Moodle, I could continue 
register as 14, 15, 16, and it would accept my choice. And it was up to the instructor to look at the timestamps. In the new version, when you're number 15, it's grayed out, and you cannot use the register or save my choice feature. It's just not an option. So that's a really, really good improvement. Look at the very top. It does indicate your choice has been saved. And we're going to go back to the front page using our breadcrumbs. We're going to turn off our editing. We'll have more videos as they become available. Thank you for watching Moodle Support Theater. Remember, we're here to help. And if you've got any questions between now and then, give us a call at 3633.